It's not much, but it's home. I think it's brilliant. Where have you been? Good morning, my gorgeous YouTube family, and welcome back to another YouTube video with me. I am finally back after three weeks of no filming, and I'm so excited to be catching up with you guys. It has been three stressful, long weeks, and I haven't been able to sit down and film for you guys, but I am back. I have missed you guys. I'm so excited to be here in front of the camera, giving you the best, the funnest video of all time. The autumn slash winter haul. We've got Topshop, Zara, ASOS, and a few other bits and bobs, Boohoo, New Look, and the other stories. So we've got lots to go through. We have got clothes all over my bed right now, which you can't see, but it is chaos. But it's been requested that I do this, and I thought there's no better time but to come back with YouTube and hit it with a haul. We are six weeks away from Christmas, so we need to start making our Christmas list. So there's no perfect time for a haul, and adding these things to your Christmas list. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. I hope you like this video. I hope you're glad I'm back. I'm so happy to be seeing you guys again, and I hope you are just as happy to see me. Please give the video a thumbs up. I don't even know where to start because everything's kind of my favorite, and I love everything, but I feel like we should start with the staples that are for the rest of the video. So we are starting with my new pair of boots from the other stories. Now this is an American brand. I first went there when I went to New York last year with my mum. Their stuff is amazing. It's a little bit expensive, okay? A little expensive, but it's totally worth it and their stuff is gorgeous. Now my mum is the fashion, true fashionista here because she is the one that found these shoes and we both have a pair, so twinning with mumsy. 2020 has said that biker boots are the shoe for the year, basically. So why not do what 2020 says? and get a pair of biker boots. They're literally gorgeous. They're leather. I've scuffed them a bit because I have worn them, but they are so pretty. They come up to like mid ankle, and these are just the shoe for the year. 2020 is just, this is the shoe for the year. If you don't have a pair, get yourself a pair or put it on your Christmas list. Now, these actually were from ASOS because they stock and the other stories. They were 189. Don't even ask me where that money came from because it didn't exist but to buy these boots. They look really nice with dresses, so you're gonna see in a few minutes all my dresses that I brought. Um, they also look really nice with ankle kind of like swinging boots that kind of come up to here. Highly recommend that you go get yourself a pair of biker boots because they are gorgeous. And you can wear them everything and anything, j'adore. Second, I think we're gonna start with our dresses because it makes the most sense to start with our dresses. Just ignore me putting my new coat down. That will come in a minute, okay, I promise. But we're gonna start with the dresses. Both my dresses are from New Look. They're actually from ASOS, but they're from New Look. So I got a black one, and I got like a really pretty like ruby, red, burnt orange kind of gorgeous dress. Both are stunning. There's just so many vibes I love about them. So this one has a little balloon sleeve. Nice, thin material, which I think is still important because I can then wear it in springtime. I can wear it in summertime. Like this is a multi-dimensional 2020 2021 all year round dress it's got buttons all the way down from the top to the very very bottom and it has a little rope belt so it can kind of cinch up the waist it's got a little collar as well and it's really classy i feel like you can wear it classy like a dinner out or you could wear it to the park the shopping mall, lunch in town, you could do anything. I love it and it's so pretty and it's really affordable. I think it was like 26 pounds, which is really good. Moving on to the second dress. Beautiful color, I just love it. And I, I did say I went into a new color scheme, which will be revealed shortly, but it is something to do with creams and whites. But we broke that color scheme because this was just so pretty. I just love this. I think that is so, so pretty, especially for this type of weather. Like cold and crisp, but still sun breaking through those clouds and shining. Again, it's like mid, midi kind of. On one side, it's got like a little slit up to the knee. Get a little bit of revealing, revealing. My favorite part, I just feel like, I really love dresses like this. I've always wanted to have dresses like this. They're kind of like a Victorian kind of dress cinches up the waist so it then kind of balloons out but we've got this kind of ribbed thing around the boob and then like to your waist and then the dress kind of comes out and then we've got these 
giant they are quite big okay so if big balloon sleeves aren't your thing that is fine but they've got quite big balloon sleeves so it's like that, so pretty. I just think this with like an afternoon tea in like a really country house, going for a walk afterwards. Red velvet cupcakes, red velvet slice of cake, scones and scones. And just, you know, I just love this dress. There's so many vibes for it. I've yet to be able to wear it because we're in now into a second lockdown. So the UK is pretty much closed apart from essential shops. I really don't understand. I mean, if you can tell me why, if, if you could tell me why this is not an essential shop, but garden centres, because they have Christmas decorations and Christmas trees. Now, I personally think that's essential. That is essential because it's Christmas time. Garden centres should and need to be opened for the Christmas shopping and the visiting of Santa. Very important. We are then going to move into Zara. Zara has broken records this year their stuff is absolutely gorgeous this year without a doubt the best stuff of 2020 has come from zara where is all my zara stuff stuff of 2020 has come what are you an idiot sandwich an idiot sandwich what an idiot sandwich Three hours later. So Zara has pulled through this year. As with H&M and as with ASOS, uh, they've really done a good job this year. I've really, really enjoyed buying from these places. Pretty Little Thing hasn't really done much this year. I would kind of say they've kind of stayed the same old, same old. Always like Pretty Little Thing kind of stuff. This dress, oh my god, it's just... You're entering the new colour scheme that I've decided for myself. Absolutely love it. So, I brought this dress the other day. I went into a Zara to basically return something. Then ended up carrying around about four different items of clothing. Tallying out to be about £100 and being like, you're a student. You've got a weekly budget. You can't be eating beans on toast the rest of the week. You can only buy one thing. So I ummed and ahed. And there was basically a shirt and one of the kind of like woolen vests that are quite in at the moment. Which I've actually, someone told me Shine or Sheen, Sheen, do some really good ones. I'll put a photo here. But that's basically what I was going for. And there's some really nice ones in Zara and there's some really nice shirts as well. But I went for this because I feel like it's different. Very, very different. So my new colour, Reveal, is basically beige, creams, whites divine love them so it's actually a dress i haven't actually tried it on yet i know that sounds crazy but i just wanted to save it for the haul so it's knitted and it kind of goes it goes out at the end so it's got a wider bottom and i'm gonna actually i haven't brought a top for underneath just yet but i'm gonna obviously wear it with a top underneath i was thinking it could go with the shirt have the little collar out and have a shirt underneath and it could look really pretty yet to buy that yet we can try it on with this top i'm wearing now only 26 pounds this is what i mean zara is so affordable this year i'm going to contradict myself in a minute because my coat was not really that affordable but majority of the zara stuff is quite affordable i'm really into dresses because i think they're just so pretty and classy at the moment so this was the item i was returning because just a little bit too big but I didn't have my receipt so I couldn't return it. But it is pretty. It's basically a little nudie pink. It's like a little polo neck. Just for jeans, trousers, like casual day kind of clothes. I think it's really pretty. It's just a little bit big. It's like it's like the point where it's like it's not too big to be oversized, but it's not so small to be nice fitting. It's in that middle stage, which is a bit annoying. But we can work with it, maybe get it taken in. We also got my beloved coat from Zara. Now, I love this. Oh, it is the best coat ever. So initially this winter, I was going for like a teddy kind of long to the knee collar kind of coat. But ended up going for this because I saw it and fell in love. I love the colour of it. I love how big and oversized and puffy it is. It's just so like fluffy also goes up to minus goes down to minus 15 degrees so you'll be kept warm in temperatures of up to minus 15 i love it it looks so nice it's so oversized i've worn it twice on my instagram so you probably will have seen it a little bit more expensive but if i think about it it was a coat and coats are normally a bit more expensive i think it was 140 
but it is seriously worth it. I got a size small. Definitely don't downsize or upsize with this because it is perfect. It's actually like, this is big, but it's supposed to be oversized, but I love it. It's a seriously nice coat, it keeps you seriously warm and it looks nice with everything. That is my Zara section completed. H&M I've also really enjoyed, but I actually haven't got anything from H&M because the stuff that was in H&M kind of, I kind of got on ASOS anyway, like really similar items. So I wasn't gonna get the same items just cause it was H&M. But H&M has really pulled through this year and they've got some really nice things. Topshop also got really nice stuff. So I love this. I think this is so cute. It's a little crop top thing. It's fluffy, but it's got a little tie. My plan for this is to put a top underneath, although I have worn it so far without a top underneath, with the, with a bra and boob tube, obviously haven't just gone out naked. Basically wanting to put a little top underneath and then wear it with my linen trousers that I have. You can wear it with, obviously, without a t-shirt underneath. You can just go a bit more reveal, reveal. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was around 20 pounds. I got it in size 10, so it can be a bit oversized. This, this jumper is my favorite jumper of the whole entire haul. I absolutely adore it. It is the best thing ever. I wish you guys could probably get it, but I really don't think you could because I got it in clearance and it was like shoved between all these other clothes and I was like, hmm, what's that little thing sneaking out there in the back? Come here. It was this. And it is just, it is the best thing in this world. You'll, you'll see a lot that I like buttons and tie up things. And like this top here, I have buttons. That dress has a button. A lot of the things I wear are actually cardigans, but I always button them up. And this is another cardigan that I button up. Oh, oh it's just so pretty. Oh, I just, it's actually got like a square neck. But I have that, it's supposed to be a jersey. I have that button undone. It, it looks amazing with everything. Jeans, leggings, trackies, linen trousers. These are just, this is just the best jumper in the world. And I just don't want it to ever leave me because I love it so much and it's the best thing ever. And it was in clearance. Size small, you definitely wouldn't need to upsize, downsize because it's perfect fitting. And of course it's matching my new cream queen color scheme other place that i really enjoyed is boohoo they have done some really i don't ever shop at boohoo because the quality is sometimes a bit questionable but this year i've actually bought a pair of nude leggings which i've basically gone for all nude outfit with this so it goes with a nude jumper my coat it's basically light brown beige nude everything with this but these leggings are serious serious hot fuzz still like they are so good they've got this kind of ribbing can you see around the glute area as well they are really nice leggings they suck you in they've got such a nice tight waistband that it really goes around your tummy make you feel good kind of leggings they're really soft as well only thing you do have to do with these is you do have to wear nude pants because otherwise you will be able to see your pants which I mean, from a person who wears gym leggings all the time, I think nude is a really hard colour to actually not be see-through. So I was kind of expecting to wear nude pants with these. But if you kind of get like an oversized jumper, probably get away with maybe not wearing nude pants, maybe wearing white. Leggings are so comfy as well, obviously. And this with boots, again, just lush. Did also get these in yellow, very, very pale yellow. Actually, these both these were linked in L Darby's video not so long ago. I think it was one with Katie. The yellow ones were a bit too see-through, so I actually did send them back because they weren't worth it. I also got the scarf that was in her video. This scarf is amazing. But it's so wide. I don't know if you can see. Can you guys see? little tassels super soft it reminds me of a mint velvet scarf because it's that kind of nice good quality and oh, isn't that just so pretty when it's so big like that you can just really fill it out get all cozy in it if you're on a dog walk get your little ears in love this scarf and it was so cheap my mum actually brought one from mint velvet and decided that she was actually gonna buy the boohoo one because it's that good oh i have actually got a really nice jumper from boohoo but i did just wash it i'll let me just ask robbie to bring it in Ooh. 
Oh, it's definitely still wet, isn't it? This is also from Elle Darby's video. You know, she sometimes, well, she always pulls through with clothes. I just, she's my fashion icon. I love my big jumpers. This is really nice. Such nice fabric. It's super soft inside. Really comfy. Perfect for lounging around around the house. And then ASOS. So ASOS really has done good this year. Everything I brought from ASOS was actually the ASOS design stuff. So I got this very thick and very warm jumper. Again, beigey browns. Got balloon sleeves with a tight little cuff. It comes quite high neck. So with a little slip back ponytail, looks really nice. I love this jumper again. Very similar, but a little bit thinner. Is another nude kind of beige jumper. So it's also quite high neck. This one's very, very casual. This one's very much like just popping out to the shops quickly, popping out for a quick takeaway coffee kind of vibe. It does look sensational with the leggings. The leggings plus this really really nice and then because trackies are essential to every single human being and life on earth we've also got uh, some trackies to show you but what i have gone for a change for is instead of the tight around the ankle we have gone for straight leg or flare trackie because they just add that bit of va va boom so we've gone for i know i said i had a new color scheme simple plain calm colors with the trackies we have gone a bit colorful I don't regret it, no. This one is a very light pale green and they're just a pair of trackies. I think they're more of a flare, these ones. Little drawstring, they're just really nice trackies. I love, and they're actually a really nice color. They can also probably be worn in summer. I am wearing my second co-ord set, which is actually a dark, who's been doing yoga, who's Miss Stretchy? Me. So they're probably my favorite one. They've got really nice detailing and they're dark green. Now. Honey, we went a little bit crazy. We went purple. Now, these are adorable. Got a cute little bit of inscribing on the side. It says, wellness, the pursuit of physical, mental, spiritual, and social well-being, i.e. living your best life. That is the quote for today, living your best life. They go really nicely with colors such as cream. They actually go really nicely with my fav favorite jumper, so. Maybe that's why they stuck around for so long. We've completed the haul. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you have found some little items that you like and you could wear yourself or we will put on your Christmas list. If you're new around here, hey, hey, hey. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. See you next week, guys.